Hey, you're watching Play Retro. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Javi, and today we're gonna be upgrading our SD cards on our Trim UI Smart Pro. So this is a video that's the first of its kind, as you see right here. Um, I have my own 64 gigabyte SD card wow. in this device. So this is great for anybody who wants to upgrade their stock SD card. This is the one that came with my device right over here. So you can either just move it from this generic SD card to a branded SD card, or you can uh, increase the size, maybe a 128 or uh, a 256 or even 512, whatever you want. You can go crazy uh, with the memory. But ideally, we just want to get our uh, our games off of this generic into a more reliable card. And so that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So a couple really cool things about this device. First of all, you can power it on without an SD card. Now, what does that mean? That means this device has internal storage. So for anybody who doesn't know, this thing has eight gigabytes of internal storage. But without an SD card, you're not gonna see much in here. And also another really cool thing about this device is that you can use, you don't even have to take the SD card out. You can do USB-C file transfer with this device, which is really cool. So you can just plug it into this DC right here. So you see uh, USB C USB storage, you can click this. And then now it's in that mode where it can transfer files. So you don't even have to take the SD card out. Just plug this in right here, plug the other end of your computer, and you should be able to read it, which is really, really fun. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get on the computer and I'll show you how to do this. Okay guys, so welcome to my computer. Um, so as always, let's get started with some preparation. So as you can see right here, um, You'll need, you're going to need two programs, you're going to need a mini tool partition wizard um, to format the SD card and you also need 7-zip because the file we're going to get is a 8.7z file which is compressed which we'll need to decompress using 7-zip. So go ahead and grab those two files. As always these uh, programs will be linked in the description below for your convenience. And this is what we'll be grabbing. This is called a Smart Pro TG5040 SD base package dated for uh, December 25th, 2023. Okay, that's the latest one. But um, if there is a newer one, just grab the newer one because obviously at the time of filming this video, it is um, March 3rd. So just grab whatever the latest one is, okay, real quick. Okay, so first things first, go ahead and get your your SD card and your micro SD card reader and insert that into your computer. Okay, and as you can see, it's already ready to go however I'm gonna go into your mini tool partition wizard okay and this is what's gonna look like so this one's like it's a D drive and it's uh, NTFS you can't use this so go ahead and delete that you're gonna right click go to delete hit e apply and then yes yeah, yeah man I wanna, I wanna do it and now we have an unallocated space you're gonna right click it again you're gonna go ahead and create and then right over here you want to go to file system navigate down to fat32 I like to name my, my SD cards now because I'm getting too many, so you want to call this Trim, Trim UI M Smart Pro, just put S, uh, SP, and then change the drive letter to something that's not D. Um, let's go for T for Trim UI, okay, and then press OK, then press Apply, and then press Yes. Yeah, yeah man, I, I want to do, do it. it. I'll give this a second to do its thing. Hey, listen! Okay. And now it's basically ready to go. So now close out of this. So head over to the, this GitHub. It's going to be linked in the description below. And I want you to grab this right here. Trim UI Smart Pro SD Patch Base Package. Right here. Grab that. And you're going to notice this is going to be way, way, way faster than if you get this one from Trim UI's website. The first time I was doing this, I, I got it directly from, I was trying to get it directly from Trim UI's site and it was taking like hours. So I do not recommend using that. Okay, and this is good to go. So when this is done, I want you to go ahead and right click, 7-zip, and then extract to Trim UI Smart Pro SD Patch. Just click this. That way it's in a folder and it's not a big mess for you. So just give this a second. Okay. And now, just to make our lives easier, we're gonna move this to the desktop. 
and this is our base package and you're gonna notice there's a bunch of stuff in here so this is super easy so head on over into your trim ui sd card and just copy paste this entire thing over into your uh, sd card it's just like onion os just copy over all the files and i'll just give this a second to do its thing Okay, this thing's finally done. So now let's um, let's get our games in here. So for this example, I have a small curated list of games that I have ready to transfer. So you can either grab the games from your SD card, or you can uh, just you know use your own ROM collection if you already have one. So yeah, um, go into your ROMs, and then in here you'll find folders corresponding to each of your systems. I have I have 10 GB, 10 Game Boy, 10 Game Boy Advance, 10 Game Boy Color, uh, 10 Genesis, and 10 Sega Genesis in here, along with all the corresponding images. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, transfer all of these really quick. So just so you know, this is a little bit different. You don't copy over um, the images into your ROMs folder. I usually do with other custom, other custom firmware. It's gonna go somewhere else, which I'll show you right now. So let me quickly just uh, copy and paste all this stuff. Okay, and if you have your uh, your ROM list already pre-scraped, I'm not gonna show you guys how to scrape in this in this video because um, I have a bunch of other videos where I scrape box art. But if you do have your box art already ready. I'm gonna show you where you can put that. So you're gonna go into your images folder here on the root of your SD card. And then in here, this is where you would put in your images into your corresponding folder. So you see here GB. Go ahead and grab all the images in here and move them into here. So now go back, GBA. Okay, and then finally, you want to go into your uh, MUs, EMUS folder right here, and then add your um, BIOS files to all of these folders. So uh, in here in GB, I would go ahead and find my GB BIOS file. Go ahead and copy it into this. You're going to notice GBA is already here. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the one I have. And then do the same for all your systems. So GBC, go ahead and add that into here. Uh, if you have PlayStation, you'll put it in the PlayStation folder. Right over here, grab any of these, maybe PSX on whatever, and etc. 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 But yeah, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and right click and safely eject it. And you should be good to go. Okay guys, so now go ahead and take your SD card. Remembering it goes like this. Okay. And now let's get this powered on. And see how we did. So now um, you're going to notice it's going to have a lot of folders um, that you don't have uh, games for. So what I want you to press is menu and then you want to go to edit and then just go ahead and turn off the systems you're not you don't actually are, are using so in my case I just have five systems that is what we'll be focusing on in this example Okay, and now I have my five systems here. So now they should all have nice, oh, yeah. clean box art. And yeah, you should be good to go. 
Now you can also favorite your whatever game you like um, by using the menu button. Go into a game, let's say I like uh, Pokemon Blue is my favorite game. Go ahead and menu and then go ahead and add to favorite. And now when you go to your favorites, there it is. And you can press uh, start to change which view you like. Either like the kind of switch style view or you can have kind of like a onion style view. So that's personal preference. I personally like this one, but it's all up to you guys. So well, now that's good. Let's quickly uh, test this. So you guys, that's how you upgrade your TrimUI Smart Pros SD card. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you had any trouble uh, getting this together. Let me know if you'd also like to know how to disable the, the overlays and stuff from TrimUI. I know I didn't really go over it in this video, but if it's something you want me to do, maybe I'll make another video for that. Just dedicated to customizing the look of the, of the games. Committed to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Javi. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.